Hello everybody! Happy Friday! It's time for another Facebook Live, Facebook Friday. I'm gonna just give it a couple of seconds to make sure I'm in the right place, first of all, and to make sure that you guys can find me. Let's see. If you're watching in the replay, thank you. I know sometimes they aren't exactly at the times that we can watch them, so I always save my Facebook Lives and watch them later. All right, I see some people jumping on. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Duber. Patty's on. Hi, guys. Okay, good. We are in the right place. So today is Tags and Tidings. Hi, Gina. Tags and Tidings Day. Um, hopefully, you saw my project on Wednesday. Today, I've got three more featuring, where is it? the Tags and Tidings bundle. Before I jump into these projects, I'm going to uh, go through a couple of things. I have quite a few things to tell you today, and I have a couple of sneak peek things to show you from the upcoming Occasions Catalog. Um, first, let me say, if you've never joined me for Facebook Friday, welcome. I always have a PDF for our projects. It's over on my blog. Hopefully it went live as soon as I did. If the technology works out. Um, this PDF has all the product information that I'm that I'm using today. So in case you want any of it, the item numbers are there. It, there's also the measurements right here at the bottom of each project. So you don't have to frantically write them down on a post-it note that you most likely will lose. Ask me how I know. All right, so also uh, today's make and takes are available as a free project in the mail. I will send all three of them to you. Here are last week's. If you joined me for the Candy Cane Season Facebook Live last week, you guys, that was probably the biggest one I've ever had. You guys, thank you so much for all of your orders. And if you did order um, last week in conjunction with my Facebook Live, all of these went out yesterday. I didn't have enough of the pizza boxes or the ribbon. I had to order a bunch. Debbie, thank you, that's so sweet. Um, so this week, same deal. You put in a minimum $30 order using the host code that you'll find on the PDF and you'll see it as soon as I turn my screen um, by Monday at midnight and I will send you today's Facebook projects. Now, next week, I have decided to take some time off. I myself need to spend some time getting ready for Christmas with my family. So next week, there will be no regular Facebook Lives. Um, although I had some ideas what I wanted to do. If I find some time next week, I might hop in and surprise you guys. Um, but there won't be any regular Facebook Lives next week, okay? Um, I, do you guys realize my, Monday is a, it's a week till Christmas on Monday? I realized that yesterday and I almost had a panic attack. I've got quite a few things to do, as I'm sure you all do, too. Um, okay, so another thing to know that if you share this video, you will be entered to win a prize. And if you hop over to my blog and scroll down to the bottom of today's post, there's another place for you to enter to win a prize. Last week, we had two winners, Ruby Nygaard. Thanks for sharing the video. She's our video sharing winner. And Hillary Fetzner, I believe. Um, you were the one drawn from the entry on my blog. And I think I saw you just emailed me back with your address. I mean, Ruby, I think I have your address. Um, but if you see this before I get to it, message me your address. Congratulations, ladies. Thanks for sharing and for entering. Now, I also have a prize for Wednesday. Susan Little shared my video. So Susan, I think I have your address too. But Susan, if you see this, message me your address, okay? Thank you for sharing. I do greatly appreciate that. Sharing a Facebook Live video helps us find new customers, um, helps us find uh, new viewers. And um, obviously, you know, I'm doing this as a business. This is my full-time job, so I'm always looking to expand my business and find new customers. So when you guys share the videos, it really does help. Thank you. Um, okay, so this week's prizes, two of them, they're exactly the same. Spirited Snowman, along with some more enamel dots. Um, Santa's Workshop Enamel Shapes, that's the right name. So two of these, right here, one for somebody who shares and one for somebody who enters over on my blog. And I will choose a winner for these next Thursday. Even though I'm not having a live, I will still choose the winner next Thursday, okay? So make sure you share and go enter. Um, and if you are interested, if you are like me and starting to panic about Christmas, remember I have gift certificates. I've sent quite a few of them out in the mail. Um, 
you just need to message me or have your Santa message me, email me, and we will get it all arranged for you. These are good for product purchases through me or class purchases, um, and they make a great gift. All right, you guys ready for some sneak peeks? I think you probably are. I'm gonna show you the upcoming occasions catalog paper shares. I'm not gonna show you the catalog, I can't do that. I'm gonna show you the paper and ribbon shares that are opening today that you can sign up for, okay? In case you don't know, beginning January 3rd, holiday catalog will be gone and this will take its place. This is the occasions catalog and along with it is the celebration catalog. Celebration is January, February, and March and anytime you make a minimum $50 or for, I should, let me rephrase that. For every $50 in product you order, you choose something free from this catalog. There's a couple of things in there that are also higher priced items that are good with a $100 purchase. It's the best time of Stampin' Up! year. I know you guys who've been shopping with Stampin' Up! you already know that. Okay, I'm gonna show you a couple of things. So I'm gonna flip the camera and if for some reason I accidentally, woo, I almost did, if in case I accidentally end the video, which I have been known to do, just come back and find me. All right, I've got this microphone here, so hopefully I don't do anything crazy. All right, so how many of you have seen online somebody post the front of the occasions catalog? Yep. We, we try not to, to post too much about it. We get it in November, but we really can't, nobody can order from it. Well, demonstrators can order from it this month, but customers can't order from it until January 3rd. So we try not to, to make it so that you're like, oh, I need to order from that. Um, we want you to get excited about it, but we, we don't want to, you know, show you things that you can't have yet. But here they are. If you have ordered from me online or in person in the last six months, your catalog is going in the mail um, either Monday or Tuesday. My sweet family has helped me label stuff, um, put in envelopes, make little calendars, all kinds of things for the last three nights. That's what we spent in the evenings doing and they are almost ready to go out. So if you are in my blends club or my stamp club to go, yours will come in your kit this month. If you are not and you have ordered from me in the last six months, yours will come in a pink, bright hot pink envelope, um, hopefully right around Christmas. If you haven't ordered from me, um, but you would still like a catalog, I'd be happy to send them to you. Just send me a message or email me and I will add your address. All right, so let me talk to you about the paper shares and the ribbon shares. A share is when I buy every pack of paper from the catalog and I share it among four or five people. So basically I would take a pack of paper and cut it and divide it by four people and split it between the four. Um, some of them are a little bit different. Um, you divide them, uh, one of them has um, more than four sheets, but basically as a person who purchases a share, you're gonna get one piece of every DSP in the new catalog. So here is, oh, it looks like we're a little bit mixed up, let's see. Here is the, the garage paper. It's very cute. It's a six by six pack of paper. And then here is my favorite. I'm sure you can see why. The Gingham Gala Designer Series paper. Five fun springy colors. The little gingham on the front. And well, I guess I had these out so I could photograph them. There they are, the big ginghams or the buffalo checks in the same color or on the back side. So you would get one of each of these. I like the hearts, you guys. What do you think? Here's our Valentine's paper this year. It's gorgeous. Last year's Valentine's paper, I felt like was a little bit hard to work with, but this year's paper, I absolutely love. So the 12 by 12 pieces in my paper share, you're gonna actually get a six by 12 piece. All right, you're gonna get half of a full 12 by 12 sheet. Here is, look at this beautiful, it's a candy themed suite and it's bright and cheery and I just love it. Love, love, love it. Look at that. I mean, those are my favorite colors. 
All right, so there's that. Then we've got this, and you guys are gonna have to forgive me because I don't know the names of these papers yet. I have been playing with them, and if you're uh, taking my online bingo or my in-person bingo, you're actually going to be getting some of these papers to make your projects. I only have a few spots left, by the way. You guys need to sign up. I actually have more spots available at my local bingo than I do my online bingo. So my local people, where are you? You need to sign up. This is Needlepoint Nook, I believe is what it's called. Isn't that so cute? Now when you get the paper share, you're also going to get some of the Celebration Designer Series paper. This is, look at that, hello, beautiful. So it's black and white on one side and then it's all butterfly bright cheery butterfly paper on the other side and it coordinates with a butterfly um, stamp set and framelits that we have all right there's that now here's one that's really elegant and it's very interesting We've got some wood grain um, very light colors wedding ish I think but then look at this paper it's vellum can you guys see that it's colored vellum absolutely gorgeous now that would be perfect for weddings all right now can you guys see that <laughs> how can you not see that this is also you're going to get some of this for free this is a celebration item um i feel like this has my name written all over it hot pink metallic paper yes please and then this one i believe is grapefruit grove so when you get the paper share you're also going to get some of the celebration paper in there too um, so that's all there. I cannot remember off the top of my head the prices or any of that, but on today's PDF, there is a link that you can copy and paste and it'll take you over there and it'll give you all the information. Now here's the ribbon and I haven't cut up the ribbon, but we, we have seven new ribbons coming. These two go together um, in the Valentine suite. And then we have this uh, Calypso coral satin. This is black and silver metallic, goes with the garage grunge. This is, I don't know the name, let's see, Petal Pink and Whisper White. And this is really interesting, and I haven't opened this yet. I need to open it and look at it. Calypso, I mean, Coastal Cabana on one side and Granny Apple. Isn't that beautiful? And then this is really, really cool. It's um, like burlap, but it's white and it's um, kind of rustic, really cool, called flax. Now, when you buy both, if you buy a ribbon share, you'll get one yard of each of the ribbons. If you buy the ribbon share and the paper share together, you're gonna save on shipping and you're gonna get a free embellishment with it. So make sure, let's look right here on the second page of today's PDF, right here. Nope, right here. See these right here? And then down here is the link. If you type that in and copy and paste it, it'll take you over there for the information. It's not linked anywhere in my blog, okay? Um, either email me or type that link in for the details. All right, so there's that. I always get very excited with all the new paper. Now there's something else and I should have shown it to you before I turn the camera around. You guys see this gorgeous bag? It's huge, it doesn't fit in the screen. This is the new tote that will be available only in the starter kit. Can you guys see how much is in here? I used it at my retreat and it was awesome. Um, this is during celebration, which is January, February, March. The starter kit is $99 and you get, now I'm second guessing myself, I better double check. You get, drum roll please, ready? $175 in free product. So $99 and $175 worth of free product of your, of your choice, okay? So it's almost like 50% off of the product. Now, if you step it up and you choose the option that includes this adorable tote, the starter kit is, I don't want to, I don't want to tell you the wrong thing, $129 and you get $175 in product and the free tote, craft and carry tote. And you guys can see how much it holds, right? It's humongous. So the starter kit starting January 3rd, you're gonna have two options. $99 gets you $175 in product, or $129 gets you not $175 in product, plus this gorgeous um, 
tote. And why can't I remember the name of it? I keep wanting to call it Cash and Carry, but that's not it. It's Craft and Carry. Um, look at all the stamp sets in here that it's holding. And you can kind of get a little sneak peek of some of the new stamp sets. I'll just go through them really quickly. I know. Get excited, you guys. Get very, very excited about what is coming. There are those butterflies I was talking about. All right. Get very excited. Um holds lots of paper and up here in the front it holds some punches there's a, a zipper right here little zipper pocket look at this cute little tag it comes with that that's our 30th year uh, anniversary little logo that they designed and over here there's more pockets and these little these things come out so you could if you wanted to put something big in there you could take the, these little um, dividers out there's another pocket on that side and it's just super cute. So be thinking about that starter kit, you guys. It's always an awesome deal, but during celebration, it's even better. $129 gets you that for free. And I do want to tell you that if you want that tote, you need to buy that starter kit at the beginning of celebration. Um, I am hoping Stamping Up has enough of them, but uh, during the pre-order period when Stampin' Up let the demonstrators order them they ran out in all markets and we didn't all get one so that makes me nervous so if you want one and you are going to buy the starter kit make sure you do it at the beginning of january okay message me for more details on that and here's one more thing that i haven't even shown you you can see it coordinates with that cute um, bag over there this is a stamparatus bag it's brand new and it holds a stamparatus so if you have a stamparatus Look how cute. It fits perfectly in here and it has a little divider for the plates. It's just great, I love it. Um, it's a really good, we needed something to hold our Stamparatus. Um, and now we have something. Let's see, I have my Stamparatus right here. You know, it has these plates and you can't close both of them at the same time. Um, so this, you can store it in here and then open this and put, you know, put your plates so it's separated. It's really nice and it would coordinate with your new craft and carry tote all right that's it that's all the announcements I have all the things I wanted to tell you um, remember that starts January 3rd in the week before I'm gonna be doing all kinds of fun stuff getting you ready for that um, new catalog so get ready for that okay hi Jackie from New Zealand it's good to see you all right are you guys ready to stamp I think you are Thank you are. Let me grab a sip of water real quick. And by water, I mean Diet Coke. I'm not going to lie. I have a Diet Coke. <laughs> Here's what we're making today. And I'm excited because this, you know, uh, Wednesday, I cased my downline, Lori. And today I'm casing my downline, Patty. She made these last year, actually, these hot hand holders, and I have been wanting to make them forever. And I finally, when I saw the warm wishes on this, I thought, yes, I'm gonna make Patty's hot hand holder. So Patty, I think I saw you on here, maybe. Patty, thank you. And this, somebody last week or the week before asked me if I had designed anything for these via Starbucks things, so here you go. All right, let's get started. We're gonna start with this one first. This is a little box. Let's see, it's got a belly band on it. And inside is a gingerbread man bath bomb, of course, from Bath and Body Works. Now, it, we're getting close to Christmas, guys. I don't know if there's any left. Um, I looked online quickly and didn't see them. I got it about two weeks ago. But if you can't find it, I mean, there's so many things you could do with this. Gingerbread cookies, gingerbread flavored anything. It would be super cute. All right, so let's make the box first. Let me get my tray. Um, now remember, um, over on my blog, there's a PDF underneath the last photo. Sometimes you guys say you can't find it, but it's there. It's always in the same place. I literally copy and po copy and paste you guys the week before, and then I just change all the information. So it's always in the same place under the last photograph. Okay, um, and you click on that link, and it'll give you these measurements that you're gonna need right here. Okay, let's see. We're gonna start with. Let me move these out of the way. 
Hi, everybody who's joining. It's so glad. It's so good to have you. I'm so glad you're here. A piece of soft suede that is nine and a fourth by six. And on the long side, we're going to score it at one and a fourth, four and a fourth, five and a half, and eight and a half. Then you want to turn it and on the short side, score it at one and a fourth and four and three fourths. Now we're going to do some snipping. Let me grab my tool basket way over here. And by the way, I did already record. My little scissors are missing. I did already record clean versions of this. So if you want to come back and make them, they will be up on YouTube. They're actually already there. I just have to make them public. Okay. All right. So look here, we have these two segments are the same. And then we've got the skinny one over here. This is going to be the tab that goes down in the front. So this is the top of your box. Okay. Cut off these little four corners, actually the two corners. We're not doing the four, four corners like that. You want to cut this one at an angle that's going to help it slide in a little bit better. Thanks for sharing, guys. I appreciate it. Now, go in on these and snip them like that, but then cut them at an angle. The little square tabs, okay? Now, do the same over here. I um, I told you guys in the weeks previous that I'm just like collecting all these Christmas treats and all these things to make. And I actually had some K cups that were gingerbread flip flavored, but they didn't make the cut. So now my husband will be drinking them <laughs> or somebody, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know, I think they're coffee. My daughter will drink the hot chocolates, but I have to leave the coffee to my husband. All right, so there we go. We've got it all ready before we assemble it though we need to stamp it and here is my stamp I showed you guys on Wednesday how this is all one piece this is all like a big background stamp and we stamped it just like this and we ran it through with the framelit easy easy great way to make a bunch of quick tags now I told you I had cut it apart in some places including the little gingerbread man See that? I cut it apart. But guess what, guys? It just goes back together like a puzzle. And you stamp it, and it's exactly in the right place. Le on Wednesday, I had already cut it, and you couldn't tell. So don't be afraid to cut some of your stamps apart if they work better for you like that. And this gingerbread man definitely was going to work better like that for me. I, I heard somebody say, they're not, it's not like they're jewels, you know, fine jewels. They're rubber stamps, so don't be afraid to cut them. All right, so let's just get this guy all over. This is the front of the box and the side. Now this is the bottom of the box, so we don't need to stamp it there. But we will here on the sides, because those will show. Hi, Belinda. Hope you're surviving kindergarten today. All right, once you've got that, grab your bone folder and let's burnish all those lines. This is one of these projects where you really want to use your bone folder. Get a nice crisp fold on there. Where is everybody today? Everybody's busy doing Christmas stuff. I have to run to Target and Hobby Lobby and I don't want to do it. There's no good time to go to the store now. The closer we get to Christmas, it's too crazy. Okay, let's put it together. I'm gonna to use fast fuse. You can use tear and tape, but don't use your snail because it will fall apart, okay? Here is the tab that's gonna go on the inside. This is the lid, and we're not gonna do anything with that right now. We're gonna take these two, or these four little uh, tabs that we cut at an angle. We're gonna fold them in and put some adhesive on the front side of them. Then we're gonna fold in the sides like that. We've done boxes like this before, you guys. All right, there we go. Now, these are too big and clunky to go down in here. It makes it very difficult. So take your scissors and cut, cut it. Just cut it in half. And if that still is kind of clunky, because sometimes it likes to catch right here, take those scissors just like you did the front one and cut them at an angle. Hi, Betty. 
All right, like that. And then you're just gonna fold all these in and they're gonna go right in. And there's your box. Easy peasy. Now I have cut a piece of DSP. This is the Under the Mistletoe DSP and it's a different print from this one, but they're still cute. All of the ones in that um, pack are super cute. That's from the annual catalog, the Under the Mistletoe designer series paper. I like it because it's real red and that's my favorite Christmas red. All right, so I'm gonna take it and it measures two by nine and I'm just gonna uh, match these corners here just kind of pinching it around. And then I'm just gonna put some adhesive right there on the end and fold it over. We're not adhering it to the box because we want it to slide. Now I only bought one bath bomb, so this box is empty. I don't have anything else to put in it right now. I'm gonna have to find something. All right, there, now let's make our tags, okay? You're gonna need to get a piece of soft suede and a piece of crumb cake, and we're gonna stamp our little gingerbread guy in both, in soft suede on both. Then I'm gonna use, <laughs> I wish you guys could see my dogs are standing here staring at me like I'm talking to them. You're gonna use your dark cherry cobbler, stamp and blend, or your stamp and write marker would work too. Color in the buttons, and then get the, whoops, out of the line. This is where I need my glasses get your chalk marker. These chalk markers are only $3.50. I think everybody needs to add one to their next order. They're so fun. And color those lines in. We're gonna cut it out with that framelit. Uh-oh, did I lose? Nope, here it is. <laughs> um, sweetly stitched framelits. I did a, my Christmas treats class with this. I love it. And I feel like I haven't used it enough, but it's such a good set and it's leaving us. It's retiring. Um, I'm going to do the heart this time. We've got a heart like this, regular heart, and then this goes on the inside and it makes the little stitch lines. So let's bring over the big shot. And... We're gonna have to do these one at a time, actually, because here's our framelit, and we only have one gingerbread man, so we're just gonna put that right there, like that. Hi, Reb, happy Friday, yay! Tomorrow is rabbit pickup day. We're picking up 10 rabbits tomorrow, you guys. My girls are raising rabbits again for 4-H. We'll only have them until the, I don't know, the third week of January, but it feels like forever. They live outside in the hutch and they feed them and take care of them and try to get them big and fat. <laughs> that sounds awful. And then uh, we take them to show, they show them, and then they go on the, the bunny truck off to the bunny farm. We won't talk about <laughs> so we're very excited for tomorrow. They just are beside themselves. All right, second one, let's do the heart. 4-H, I don't know, I, I realize 4-H isn't really um, everywhere. 4-H um, is a program for kids to raise money for college, to learn responsibility. Um, they start, They there's more than just animal projects. They can do cooking and there's even crafts and uh, yeah, leadership, there's all kinds of great things, but we're doing rabbits, which is the smallest animal that you can do. And then my older daughter has a goat, but he doesn't live here. He lives at the barn at school. <laughs> yes, I live in Texas. Okay, let's find our gingerbread man. I have my heart, I have a scalloped circle, and I have a white circle that I punched out with the one and three fourths inch circle punch. Now these guys have this little loop right here that I'm gonna cut off because I don't really want it, so just trim that off. You can leave it too, it's pretty cute. They look like little charms, like on a charm bracelet. But I'm gonna take them off, and then I'm gonna get my... Hi Paula, thanks. I'm, oop, nope, we're gonna put them on the heart. I'm going to use my mini dimensionals. Can you guys see the stitching on the heart? That little framelit makes the stitching, it's so cute. All right, like that. There they are, they're like holding hands. And then another couple of dimensionals, one for the circle. We're gonna put the heart there. And one for the scallop circle, right 
there. Now hopefully, I have my handheld punch. Nope, I think it's on the other tray because we're using it twice today. Let me grab it. I'm going to punch right there. Make a little circle. Now let's bring our box back and I'm going to tie the real red ribbon around like that. This is the cotton real red ribbon that's in the annual catalog. Ooh, that's too much. I don't want to waste too much. Let's make it a little bit shorter. Um, I keep my ribbon attached to the bolt until I cut it off. That way you uh, waste less of it so you don't, you know, estimate that more than you need and then end up wasting it. So there we go. And let's cut that at an angle. Cut that one at an angle C, and there you have it. Now, the last part is to attach our little gingerbread guys with some whisper white twine. I did not put a sentiment on this. Um, I played around with a few things, but I just really wanted those guys to be the focal point, and I found that if I put any kind of sentiment on there, it took away from them, so no need for a saying. You could always put something on the inside or on the back of the tag. Tie this on with a bow and we, oh, <laughs> try it again, take two. Tie this on with a bow and we're done. Just straighten that out. What do you guys think? Very cute. I know. I hope I can get two more because now I have three. You guys know I always end up with three of them, but these two are empty. I gotta, I gotta find something to put in there so my daughter can give it away next week at school. All right, you guys. So I hope you liked that project. I think that's my favorite one today. Let me clean up my mess and grab the next project. Oh, thanks for all the hearts. You guys are so sweet. You're so good to me. I made quite a mess. So. Let me get all of this out of here. And let's look at the next one. Is Patty here? I don't know, I thought I saw her on here. We're making this hot hands holder. And I don't know if you guys are all familiar with hot hands. Hot hands are these little things that you get when you open up, you shake them and they get hot. And they are, you know, you put them in your pocket, put them in your gloves, put them in your, sometimes I've even tucked them up into my beanie. Um, yes, I live in South Texas, but we, my youngest and I walk to school every morning. So sometimes it's in the 30s and 40s and even the 50s and we're cold. So we like to use hot hands. So I ordered them from Amazon this year, got a whole bunch. Hopefully it'll last us through the winter. She complains. She doesn't like when it's cold. Well, I need to put this somewhere where I can reach it. I know those of you who from the from up north are, are laughing at me I'm sure but it's cold <laughs> okay so let's look at what we are going to oh you know the other idea I had for these if you were having a New Year's Eve party it's always really cold here on New Year's Eve and we do like a bonfire and then the fireworks and all that and we're outside for a long time so I thought these would be great to hand out you know like at a New Year's Eve party or a bonfire if you're having like a bonfire party I don't know that was just an idea and it's yes it's Christmas related, but nothing about it says Christmas on it. So you could really do these all throughout the year. All right, so let, let me look at my notes. <clears throat> this is a six by six piece of cherry cobbler, and this is the envelope punch board. And we're gonna, there's two sets of measurements that you need to know. And remember, they're right here on the PDF, okay? The first one is you're gonna put this right here at two and a half and punch and score. Then you're gonna scoot it down to two and seven eighths, punch and score. And then turn it once, and this time you're gonna line it up at three, and then move it down to three and three eighths. All right, so those are the four measurements you have to know. And yes, it's on the PDF, so just look at the notes. Turn it and start over again. The first one is two and a half, and oh my goodness, did you see that? I had a wild score. And then two and seven eighths, punch and score. This is the punch and there's a line right here that you score. And then the last one again, we're gonna do three. Oh my gosh, I did it again. It's just Diet Coke today, I promise. That's all I'm drinking. 
and then three and three eighths. Did I punch that first one? I did. Okay, so there you have it. Now there's another really cool um, tool that's built into this board and it is a corner rounder. So right here you can stick these little tabs in, the little points, and punch them and then they are rounded. Cute, right? Okay, so now we need to trim out these corners right here. So get your paper snips, your little scissors, and trim these guys out just like this. Uh-oh, that one looks wrong, but we'll make it work. No, it's right. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh, we'll pretend like that didn't happen. I don't know what I did there. All right, there we go. We'll make sure that's on the bottom. Now, here we have it before we put it together. We're gonna take a piece of the DSP, and this is the festive farmhouse paper. Another thing I feel like I love and haven't used enough. It's just a little scrap, and I'm gonna put it right here on my paper and use my pencil to just trace around like that. There might be an easier way or a fancier way to do this, but this is how I do it. And then I'm just gonna get my scissors, and I'm gonna cut inside that line about an eighth of an inch, if even that, maybe a sixteenth of an inch inside that line, following it around like that. And now we've made, let's see, which one did I, all right, we're gonna make that one on the bottom. <laughs> oh, just keeping it real, you guys. All right, that way it looks like it's lined. Now get your bone folder again, and we've got two score lines on each side. What we've done really, in essence, is made a, a fat envelope to hold these. All right. Thanks, Gina. Ooh, morning from Australia. It's Saturday already there, huh? All right, now, you know what? I like to put these in as I am putting them together. It's, a little bit easier. So go ahead and put your guy in there like that. Put a little bit of adhesive there, fold it over, and a little adhesive there, and fold it up. And there's your pocket. Easy. Now, um, for the belly band, the part that goes around, I thought, well, what better embossing folder to use than the cable knit embossing folder? I don't know if you guys have this, but it is super cute. When it came out, I don't know, maybe two years ago, it was crazy. Everybody went crazy over it. And I have not used it in a while. It's so cute. So you're gonna put your regular platform in here. And this is one of our dynamic textured embossing folders. So that means it's extra thick. So you just need one clear plate. Um, open it up and you can see that our paper is too long. So, we're gonna go through twice. And you're gonna see here in a second where it might not be perfect, but guess what, it doesn't matter because it's gonna be on the back. <laughs> okay, so now what I'm gonna do is take this, I'm gonna line it up, and you can kind of feel where it needs to go right in there so that you're gonna get this other piece embossed. This Whisper White piece is seven and a half by two and a half. Ah, messing up my grid paper. All right, let's see. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it, guess what? Again, it'll be on the back. I don't care enough to make it super perfect for something like that. I don't know about you guys. All right, let's see. I'm gonna put fast fuse all the way around because this belly band doesn't slide off like the other one. All right, I'm gonna put it there in the middle and put a little bit of adhesive there and wrap it all the way around. Can you tell? Nope. Awesome. Sweater, I always wanna call it sweater weather. It's called the Cable Knit Dynamic Textured Impressions Folder. And it is in the annual catalog. It's a good one. All right, now this is Cherry Cobbler Double Stitched Ribbon. Oh, again, I made it too long. And we're gonna tie a bow like this. 
There we go. And we're gonna have to adjust that bow in a little while. You'll see why. So I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. We're gonna mess with it after we get our tags made. All right, now let's bring back over the Stamparatus. This one, you don't have to cut your, you don't have to cut your um, stamp if you don't want to. I know some of you are like, no, don't cut it. This one, you can just get a little piece of paper. We're gonna use the one that says warm wishes right here. So I'm gonna see kind of where it goes. And I'm gonna put my paper right there. All right, and you could put the magnet on it if you want, if you feel like you might need to stamp it twice. I am gonna be a daredevil and I'm gonna do it right the first time. Hopefully, everybody cross your fingers. All right, so ink it up right there, early espresso. And let's see, perfect. I rolled the dice and I got lucky. It stamped perfect the first time. All right, bring back over your magnetic platform and try to find your die and your messy desk. And then you can just put this on here. One thing that I think is really cool, and you guys will laugh, one thing I think is really cool about this framelit is that all of these little shapes are small, right? So if this was, if these were all individual framelits, what would happen to Erica's framelits? Who knows? <gasps> she would lose some of them because that's what she does. She loses small framelits. So I like this because you know what? I'm not gonna lose them. They're all stuck together. Brilliant. All right, so there we've got warm wishes. I've got a piece of galvanized metallic paper. I'm punching it with a tailor tag punch because it's short and it's easier to do on this one. This is another piece of festive farmhouse. Now here's where I said we were gonna have to adjust this. My ribbon wants to do that, but look what happens. It's upside down. So we gotta really like twist and get that ribbon to face the other way. And it will do it if you twist. Lost forever, Gina. You know it. You know me. Lost forever. It's a sad day here about once a week when Erica loses a framelit. And my sweet friend Sue gave me this awesome magnetic frame, but it still happens. I know. I'm bad. All right, so we, we just, I just put those on there. Um, I kind of faked it, I just put it down. They're not really hanging, they're not really a tag. But this one, we're gonna make it look like a tag. We're gonna do just like what we did with the other one, except it already has a, the hole in it from the framelit. Tie it around the bow. And don't worry, we're gonna make it sit where we want it to sit. We're gonna tie it on and look like it's just hanging perfectly there. Let me adjust this twine like that. And then, uh, dimensionals, where are you? Grab a dimensional and put it underneath and stick it down so that it looks like it's perfect. Oh, it's just hanging there perfectly. Ta-da! So cute. I know, I love these. These are so fun. I'm gonna make a bunch of these for New Year's Eve. I don't know, oh my gosh, you guys, thank you so much. Look at all your hearts, you're so good. All right, second project down, time for the third one. Let's get everything out that we need. Let me move all of my mess, open ink pads, close them. Now, I don't remember who it was last week or a week before she said hey do you have anything for the via Starbucks via instant and I didn't even really know what those were I had to look them up but it, in fact I had them in my candy cabinet you know where I keep stuff to make projects with I had some down there um, but it was really old so I went to when I was at Walmart I went and look lo and behold there they are they look like this and um, I don't know how many are in here five Six. Um, so I thought these are super cool. Um, just make an instant latte. These would be great if you have an office full of people who you need to make treats for. All right. And because this could be like for a guy too, I think. Yes, it has a bow, but it's still, you know, not too girly. All right. So let me show you how to make it. Let me get all my goodies out. 
we're gonna use gray granite cardstock. And the reason I chose gray granite, for one, is because it has a silver packaging, but two, I wanted to use these stars from the Festive Farmhouse paper, and that is a gray granite background. So that's why we're going with gray granite. All right, grab your Simply Score. This is so easy, you guys. And let me look at my notes so I don't tell you the wrong thing. It is a piece of gray granite that is two and three fourths by 11, and you're gonna score it at six and six and a half. That's it. And you know, if you're gonna make a bunch, put your whole piece of cardstock on here and score all the way down six, six and a half, and then cut it. You can get, what is this, two and three fourths? I forgot, what are my measurements? Yeah, so you could get three of these out of one full cardstock. When I am getting ready for classes, that's what I do. I leave my cardstock intact, do all the scoring at once, and then I cut them apart. A little time-saving tip for you. This piece of DSP is four and three eighths by two and five eighths, and we're gonna put it here on the short side. It's just a smidge smaller, so that it has a little frame. And then, Grab a circle framelit. I'm using the three inch circle framelit. You could also use a punch. And we're gonna lay that on there so that it's just gonna create a little uh, crescent, little half circle kind of opening. All right, so there we go. You're welcome, Vicki. Hi, Vicki. All right, so now let's move all of this and you can see what it looks like. Just like that. Now, I've told you guys, I have, I have a teenager. By the way, we went to get her driver's license this week and we were missing a paper. So she didn't get to take the test. So we get to try again next week. I get to go to DPS or DMV again next week. Fun times, hopefully we have all the paperwork this time. They make it so difficult, but I, I digress. <laughs> the reason why I brought that up is because she loves Starbucks and her friends love Starbucks. See what I'm doing here? I'm just putting a little staple on each side and I put it in there to make sure that I leave myself enough room. But these would be another great little teenager -y gift. And it slides in and out. All right, now, lucky for us, we have gray granite ribbon that matches our cardstock and paper beautifully. So let's tie. I use three different ribbons three different inks this week. Usually I try to keep it all similar, but this week I, I went crazy. I went wild and crazy. Now, you guys, I think I might have mentioned on Wednesday that my idea next for next week was all gift card holders because, you know, that's kind of the point we're at. So I might, my team did an amazing job with our gift card holder swap and, uh, I was just so inspired by them and I really wanted to make some of them for you. So I might try to hop on next week. Hopefully I can find some time to show you guys. Okay, now of course, since this is coffee, a latte, I went with our coffee cup framelits. We're gonna use the small cup and the sleeve, that's the word. When I made my other video today, I could not remember what that was called. The sleeve, you know, the little thing that keeps you from getting your hand too hot and the lid. And then we're also gonna stamp the which one are we using just the to and from and i meant to mention when you get your stamp apparatus it comes with this foam sheet it's for your photopolymer stamps and when you are inking this you're going to get ink on more than what you you know where you want to put it so for instance this one right here when i inked it with red it was all over and if i stamp it here on my foam it's going to get ink on here and so stampin up recently came out with these grid sheets that fit in our stamparatus it's a stamparatus accessory that you can buy on the store and so that's um why they have them so we don't mess up that foam sheet um, so i just meant to point that out for you guys because it is a nice little add-on for your stamparatus all right so i'm going to be a rebel again i'm going to lay that paper there with no magnet Hi, Mac. My, <laughs> my schnauzer, the one who's usually not in here, suddenly this week, he wants attention. And he keeps coming in here and he just kind of barks at me and wags his tail. I don't know what's going on with him. I think he wants a cookie. See, he just, his ears perked up. I don't know. He usually is just snoozing away up in his sister's room upstairs. There we go or in his bed, in his kennel, but lately he just keeps coming in here and he won't leave me alone. He's just barking like, mama, give me attention. 
I don't know what's going on. And at first I thought maybe something was wrong, you know, like he was trying to tell me, Mama, something, you know, like Lassie, like there's somebody in the well. No, he just wanted a cookie. All right. Now we're going to use the matching framelit right here. So put that down right there. We can't cut them all at the same time, I don't think, because this framelit is too big. Hi, Terry. How are you? All right, now let's look. And we actually got two. Can you guys see that? We actually got two out of that. So I could save that for later. All right, let's move this one over here. And yes, Mac, he thinks I'm talking to him. He's just wagging his tail. Mama's talking to me. All right, the small coffee cup goes on the white. And the sleeve goes here on the red and the lid. No, Charlie. Charlie's getting excited. He's getting very excited. I think a bark is coming. Let's put that there and we'll run these through. I have the window open and I think that's what they're, they can hear people outside. <laughs> oh goodness, it's a three ring circus around here. All right. Get all my little framelits and put them safely over here so that I don't throw them away. No, Mac. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's like I'm on a ticking ticking clock. They're, they're like, we've had enough of you, Mom, talking and not looking at us. All right, let's put this all together. Where is my fast fuse? Right here. Um, so take the little sleeve and put it right here on your coffee cup. And then, <laughs> Terry, and then some... Um, Glue dots. Yes, Mac, I hear you. I'm not getting you a cookie right now. I just use glue dots on that. And then this guy, of course, we're going to pop him up. Oh my goodness, he's getting crazy over here. Go, Mac. I'll give you a cookie later. Like that. And then I have a bunch of these left over, and I was like, these are perfect. The All is Bright um, paper clips. I used all the stars for my retreat pat projects i believe that's when i used them and so i have a bunch of trees i'm like yes this will be perfect we can clip the little tree on the corner and that's a perfect embellishment there we go it's so cute now right here last thing we're going to put the dimensionals right here you know i went with the small coffee cup because i thought i was going to do like a circle or something here but I just went and just left it like that because I thought, you know, if you're making a bunch of these for people in the office, you want it simple, right? And that's pretty simple. Hey, shh. No, they don't want to hear you. So there you go, you guys. I hope you like it. It's cute. It's easy. Oh, go. <laughs> Mac likes it. It's easy and it's very easy to mass produce these. All right, let's look at everything we have. Um... We've got the latte holder, we've got the hot hands, we've got the box. Now let's look at what we did on on Wednesday. And I think I saw Laurie on here. Laurie, are you on here? Go, go, I don't wanna hear you. Laurie Chilton, I think she's on here. I cased you on Wednesday, Laurie. Here is the um, gift card holder um, that we made. And then here are all the fancy tags. And I like that you guys were commiserating with me about using a Sharpie to write people's names on the boxes. <laughs> no more. We have no more excuses. We've got all these cute tags. All right. So let me tell you, this uh, Tags and Tidings bundle is retiring. It's while supplies last right now. It is not discounted. They did not discount this one. Um, but it is while supplies last. And once the um, holiday catalog is gone, it's gone for good. So if you want it, you need to get it. Now, yesterday, the 13th, was the last day to put in an order to get guaranteed shipping by Christmas if it's a gift. Um, but we have expedited shipping. I know I had to expedite something yesterday myself. So um, if you are getting at a pinch and you want this, make sure you put it in um, by Monday using this host code right here. And I will send you these three projects, make and takes in the mail next week for free. Okay, you guys? Now, again, let me tell you, I'm not going to do my regular schedule next week. We'll be crazy next week. I've got to um, get lots of things out in the mail next week. I've got to get my own family Christmas stuff organized. So I will be in the office, but not regular hours. Um, 
I may pop on live once or twice if I can find the time. Um, and But otherwise, I will be back at the first of the year. Can you believe it? It feels crazy. It feels like that's so far away. But um, around the first or second, I will be back getting you ready for that occasions catalog. Remember to let me know if you want an occasions catalog. Um, I'll be happy to send you one at, with the celebration catalog. And um, be thinking about that starter kit with that gorgeous bag that you can get. And message me, I'll be checking emails. Um, but otherwise, you guys, have a great Christmas. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks, everybody.